Hello everybody and welcome back to Sorcerer's Workshop where we are always cooking up something new for you to use in your next D&D adventure. This week on 3 Minute Miniatures I have for you some extremely basic but very usable cave terrain. Here are, there are three different sort of types of cave terrain that I've made um, recently that I'll go through. Here is the sort of the scattered bricks cave terrain. This is so easy to make. All you need is a flat board, a little bit of something to create sort of a cave, I don't know, like, you know, I just used a bit of dirt here and then just painted it and then also some bricks that are just so easily painted up. Yet, placing this on tiles or a battle map or something just adds a bit of depth to it and maybe could give your um, players or characters a little bit of shelter or something like that that they can hide behind. Probably not these ones, but these stalagmite later on definitely do. And that's the thing with this channel. I'm not trying to make the most elaborate, beautiful thing that there is. I've certainly try, but it's mainly about making something that extremely easy, but extremely playable. Here are the just the stalactites. So I have uh, two different variants here. One with like closely a cluster, small cluster of stalactites, and one uh, which you'll see in a minute, which is a slightly larger stalactite. These are painted up literally using burnt umber, then a tan, then a burnt sombrero, very lightly dry brushed over the top. They're extremely easy to make, and they look pretty good in my opinion. The tiles are just a piece of single corrugated cardboard, painted, uh, the dirt part of me is painted a um, uh, burnt umber and then the uh, the just on top to create stones is just created uh, with a just a gray there is our comparison miniature just you can see that it can be used as cover or something like this here is more stalactites, but with sort of boulders or just big rocks mixed in between them again extremely extremely simple sort of pieces but look at that if you had a miniature behind that you could say that's half cover potentially or full cover if you had maybe the larger ones here this is just a way you'll see at the very end that I use to sort of just add a bit of playability so it's not just a flat battle map with ah oh, here's the big boss here's the here's the miniatures in this room or in this uh, cave area also add a bit of terrain um, that sort of just helps liven up the game just ever so slightly if you are someone who enjoys uh, using miniatures in Dungeons and Dragons which is something I am very fond of so here are these again, just boulders, stalactites, something like that. Here is uh, a few of my cave tiles and just uh, something that sort of fits together. I want to thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Thank you and goodbye.